This presentation is evaluation of the safety of the use of nuclear energy. We have decided that there are more pros and cons to nuclear energy. So this is a quote from a speech that U.S. Senator Mark Udall delivered on the Senate floor. Uh, we agreed with his idea and think everyone should keep, in mind, should keep it in mind when thinking about energy production. He said there is no silver bullet that can solve all of our energy challenges. We are going to need, sil a s need silver buckshot. Examining all the pros and cons, I have come to the view that nuclear energy is part of our silver buckshot. In a nuclear reactor, the neutron hits a uranium-235 atom, which starts a chain reaction. The heat from the nuclear decay turns water into steam, which propels a turbine connected to an electricity generator. The steam is condensed into water and reused. When you look at the nuclear power plant, what you see is the vapor coming out. Unlike fossil fuels, nuclear reactors don't give off nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, or other harmful chemicals and this leads to higher air quality. Nuclear power plants also don't give off carbon pollution. With the threat of global warming rising, nuclear energy can help us maintain global weather patterns and keep sea levels from rising. So when comparing the energy produced by uranium to the energy produced by fossil fuels, it was found that one uranium fuel pellet provides as much energy as one ton of coal 149 gallons of oil, or 17,000 cubic feet of natural gas. And this is a, the size of a uranium pellet. So you can see that uh, nuclear energy is definitely more efficient than energy produced by fossil fuels. According to the American Nuclear Society, living near a nuclear power plant exposes a person to less radi radiation than living near a coal-fired power plant. A person living within 50 miles of a coal-fired power plant is exposed to 0.03 millirems of radiation within a year, but a person living within 50 miles of a nuclear power plant is exposed to only 0.01 millirems of radiation within one year. This is very small when considering that a person is exposed to 228 millirems of radiation within a year from air alone. According According to the World Nuclear Association, there have only been three major accidents involving nuclear reactions. These are Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, and Fukushima. With improving technology, nuclear power plants are safe, safer to operate. For example, after five years, spent fuel rods can be moved to dry cask sto storage where it is cooled by airflow. By doing this, there are fewer fuel rods in the spent fuel pool. In this way, there, if there is an accident, there will be less radioactive material emitted. Also, if an accident does occur, there are ways to contain the damage to a smaller location if, if there is a nuclear accident. The Three Mile Island accident is a good example of this. Although part of the core of the reactor melted, the radioactive material was released was lessened by a containment building. Also, people living near a nuclear power plant can take potassium iodide pills, so if the radioactive iodide is released, their thyroid will already have its full supply of iodine and will not absorb the radioactive iodine. Uh, when comparing, or sorry, uh, <laughs> so additionally, bene so additional benefits about nuclear energy are seen when looking at economics. For instance, Nuclear power plants are designed to operate for long periods of time before refueling. 400, 540 days is the longest a plant can run before shutting down. Because of these long periods of operation, nuclear energy is not subject to the cost fluctuations that fossil fuel is subject to, and that makes nuclear energy very dependable. Uh, and since 2001, nuclear power plants have had the lowest production costs, with only 30% of their overall production costs going towards fuel, while costs for coal, natural gas, and oil make up about 80%. While politicians and voters are divided on the issue of nuclear energy, there are some serious political benefits. Creating our own clean and safe energy here in the U.S. would decrease our dependency on foreign nations. Many of our conflicts with oil-producing countries, such as those in the Middle East, had oil as a serious factor. 
They can produce their own energy. We will not have to be in volatile countries as much, leading to less of violence. Also, if the U.S. were to become more reliant on nuclear energy, we would have to build more nuclear plants. The process of building and maintaining these plants will require serious manpower. So increasing the prevalence of nuclear energy and nuclear power plants will create more jobs for the U.S., which would be extremely beneficial considering our 6.7% unemployment mm -hmm. rate. Much of Europe is extremely reliant on nuclear energy. If the U.S. wants to remain on the forefront of new developments and ideas, we will need to start using more nuclear energy as well. This video is by the Nuclear Energy Institute and displays the benefits of nuclear energy in the U.S. She's using more. He's using more. We're all using more electricity. America's appetite for energy is growing. So, how do we generate more electricity that is cleaner, safer, and made here in America? Part of the answer is nuclear energy. Nuclear energy facilities in 31 states already provide electricity 24-7 for one in five homes and businesses. And nuclear energy is America's largest source of clean air electricity. With production costs at about two cents per kilowatt hour, it's affordable, reliable, and ready to meet our growing energy needs. Nuclear plant safety is a top priority. Above all, the men and women who work at these facilities are committed to making safe nuclear energy even safer. So, nuclear energy can provide made in America electricity while protecting the environment. Nuclear, clean air energy. So, in conclusion, we support nuclear energy and think it is an important factor in our silver buckshot. There are sources. Thank you.